Hola, como estas? It's Sunday, September 10, 2023, and I have just given the baby convicts some food. Like, why can't I see these on the screen? Hold on. There we go. So, two batches of baby convicts that have been here for the last couple of weeks. They are hanging, doing their thing in this 29. So, there are two... Uh, groups of parents, two mated pair. I had to remove all of the other convicts from this tank after the parents started doing their thing. But convicts are just such great parents. It's, it's hard not to watch them. So I'm enjoying the babies because, you know, babies are just cute. It doesn't matter what they are. Baby trees are cute. Baby fish are cute. Baby people are cute heck you know that's just the way of the world so because I think they're cute I have this inherent assumption that somebody out there in the wild world is also going to think that they're cute and something interesting uh, I'm gonna lean back and take a seat so forgive me while I readjust the science of cuteness how many of you have ever discussed or discovered something about this. I'd say nearly all of you have uh, talked about this, noticed things, but what about studying the science of cuteness? This is actually what drives us to care for the little ones, to allow the next generation of any species to go on. And cuteness, while it's really something that's inherent to what we think of as the upper um, vertebrates and our brain type it's not something that's alien to others it's we we often see animals uh, out out in nature within the animal kingdom acting as surrogate parents for species that are not their own over here, I'm watching uh, these these two broods of, of fry that were born about a week apart. They're sort of mixing and uh, commingling. Now, for the most part, the younger ones are over here on the left. The slightly older ones are over here on the right. But we'll see them just in mixes. And while the the, the parents don't cross paths, the babies certainly do. And I think that's kind of cool. There's something to learn from that. But for the most part, the bigger ones are over here. The others are on the other side. And that's just, just cool. Really cool. So I'm going to cut it there. Um, I've been having issues for the last couple of weeks. Every time I start recording a few minutes in, I hear get this message saying, device is too hot. I'm using a Pixel 7. Kind of annoyed about, with it right now, but at least it's not an Apple. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you would, if you enjoy following along with this sort of thing, give me a like, subscribe, and you'll be able to see lots of baby fish videos, other cute stuff, and lots of other aquarium and natural science type things. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you soon.